April 5th, 2022. I left my brother today. <laughs> I haven't cried that hard in years. I cried so hard that I nearly lost all control. And I've been teared up before, I've been choked up. I can't even remember the last time I bawled like that. <laughs> Leaving home has never been a hard thing for me throughout all my life. I've always felt like I was on the right path, I was going somewhere. But after traveling across the entire country, 44 states, going to all the different places, seeing all the things that I wanted to see, leaving home this time is scary. The reason why is because this time I didn't have a specific goal. I wasn't going to travel, I wasn't going to do anything. I was just going to float. <laughs> ah, now instead, I have to set a new goal. This year, my year is a year of community where my goals aren't defined by the places I see or the things I do, but rather by the people's lives that I impact. So that's what I'm going to do on this trip. <laughs> I'm going to show up for my community as the best person I can be. Today is a special video because today we commence the first ever Adventure Crew trip where I take subscribers from the adventure list out into the wilds just like this to go have adventures of a lifetime, seeing cool places with people that really like each other. So today we're starting it. We're headed down to Boise, Idaho right now. Pick up Ella Edwards from the airport. Let's go. Ella is always easy to find because whenever she gets off the plane, she's always the smallest person in the airport with the biggest backpack on. <laughs> so it makes her easy to pick out in the crowd. Even though Ella's flight was delayed, we still made it to the dinner reservation at a very, very nice and very special restaurant called Barbacoa. And Nico, one of my oldest friends since kindergarten, met us there and added a brilliant spark to the night of laughter, good food, and closeness that I haven't had quite the same style of in years it made me remember that 2022 really is my year of community and even though i don't have a specific place to go to accomplish something i have people to come back to and that's a special thing that's hard to find nico also snuck in one of the greatest stories i've ever heard about getting pulled out of the snow <laughs> she's here <laughs> <laughs> hey! Oh, <no. laughs> hey, hello! Welcome to Boise. <laughs> Let's go to our dinner reservation. We got a good restaurant. So? Huh? Yeah, we'll go. Ella made us late. <laughs> no, she really yes, didn't. Like personally made it late. On purpose, the whole time. Yes. She like she sabotaged the plane. Did the yes. whole thing. <laughs> we're waiting for a bag right now, but we're going to a super fancy restaurant called Barbacoa tonight that I really want LA to see. And I'm hoping we get the opportunity because I haven't eaten there in ages either. I hope. I'm a fucking Got it. <laughs> Ella's wearing my family heirloom. This is the hat I hitchhiked across the country in. And now that she's going to become a full fledged adventurer, it's only right that she wears my favorite hat in the world. <laughs> this, is, this is the fire presentation for the evening. Right? Oh. And that's a rice spaghetti in the mouth. Thank you. Okay, so. You rock, man. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Go! Oh, are you happy you came, Nico? Oh, very, yeah, very happy. Oh, good. Very happy. I haven't introduced you to Nico on the camera yet. I'm going to let us eat, but this is one of my oldest friends of all time, Nico Icarna. to whoever I'm speaking with. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Both of the gentlemen in the car have beers in their hands. <laughs> I'll drive it. 
Take it out. One of stuff is out. One hand beer. The other hand a joint. <laughs> I have nothing against nothing against marijuana. The thing is, is it just adds to drives me up to the road and I hike to where my car is and I couldn't believe it. Shrouded in light <laughs> was Willie and his son pulling my car down the road. They had actually managed to get it out. By what measure? I have no idea. I have no idea how they managed to get it out. Because they were like, Nico, big dog had some beer in the back of your car. That was great stuff. They drank all 12 beers. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Panther made it into town. This is Acid Wolf right here. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> He's on six hours of sleep over how many how many days now, Eric? Two, two days since I woke up on Wednesday. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you poor soul. So we're going to get him some sleep at the hot springs in the woods tonight, and then we're going to sleep in a tent. So I hope you're down. Down. That should be good. You probably down, yeah. slept on the floor all the time in the Philippines, right? Did you, slept, did you sleep outside a lot? I didn't sleep outside a lot. There, there's, there was always a space to sleep indoors. This is our baptism into the wilds of Idaho. We just took the turn off into the real wilderness now. And here we go. We're jumping in the cold river. This is straight up a chain. I think it was an old little well thing. Oh, let me... But here we go. Jumping in the river. What's up? Hey! Let's go, Eric! Oh my gosh! You legend! Look at Eric still in, a legend. Less than 30 miles away from our hot spring now. What? And apparently there's like four between us and okay. that hot spring. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of? You're gonna have so much weird footage of me just making bizarre noises. <laughs> <laughs> be all right. <laughs> what kind of hike are we talking about? It's the first one. The first one will be just like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Normally we like to earn them though, so that when we do those, we'll head up this thing and then we'll come back down and we'll hit them. But you already jumped in, so we'll we'll call that our earning the hot spring already. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. No? <laughs> okay. My bad. You're, you're not on camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. No filming apparently at this hot spring, but this is first hot spring right here. <laughs> we made it to our first North Idaho hot springs. This is Ella's first real natural hot springs ever. What do you think, Ella? So far, absolutely incredible. <laughs> Out here in the wild, Eric would lived in the Philippines for like how many years? Just over a year. Just over a year, I went to a million hot springs, no? Uh, not a million. There was one close by, so mm -hmm. we would go to that one pretty frequently. So is this taking you back in time? You feel oh, good yeah. to be here? <laughs> yes, <laughs> you are living it up right now. Dude. All right, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, only the first of many. Eric is from Texas, so he hasn't seen this much snow like ever, and we have to go out and frolic. <laughs> I have been to Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh gosh, it's so, oh gosh, it'll tear your feet apart. Yeah, it's so icy hard. on the top. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> messed up enough. Thank you very much. Okay, gosh, my feet are getting cold, man. I didn't know you had feeling like oh. that, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, baby. 
Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Let's see it. Yes! Let's go! Woo! Woo <laughs> You're just laying in it! Come on, get back! <laughs> so this is what people see when they see Bigfoot. This is the dude. <laughs> it's just Eric. <laughs> Oh, I said I'd dig it. <laughs> no, I could dig it. You were such a powerhouse in just the cold, man. That is so impressive. People don't. People think I'm bullshit, and I love the fucking cold. That is amazing. I'm like asking. Get it, cowgirl. <laughs> this is going to be a leap. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Come here, Eric! Come here. <laughs> okay. Let's go! Oh. 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 This is so cute! This is where I find myself! Here we go to the restaurant and saloon. 28 degrees. Right there. <laughs> We slept through much colder than that. We just woke up. This was our first night. Ella just almost died on us. We don't know exactly what happened, but she was rocking back and forth like she had hypothermia. And it worried Eric and I very much. So, <laughs> she slept in the tent last night. How's the? How long has it been since you've been like? Have you ever slept in the cold like that, Ella? Yeah. Yeah, you have. Okay. Yeah, all right. Times. Well, I appreciate it's you. The desert. It gets cold out there. Sure. I appreciate you doing it again for me. <laughs> Coming on the trip with us. That was awesome. Well done. So that's a that's a good first night of passage. We went and jumped in the river as our baptism in Idaho yesterday. And now we get the first night, so now we're survivors in Idaho. Now we get to go to the hot springs and chalice. <laughs> We are coming into one of the most famous hot springs in Idaho. This is Chalice Hot Springs in almost southern Idaho. I think it still counts as southern Idaho. This will be Eric and Ella's first time ever. I just checked this place out when we walk in. Literally. Do the rockets. And here we are. <laughs> Hey, here she comes! Ooh. You needed that so bad. <laughs> First one, in. here we go. Oh, yeah, man! Ooh. This is just the warm up. We still got a hotter one to go to. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, fine. <laughs> We're hiking up Goldbug now. I missed. I missed the first part of the hike because I forgot the GoPro back at the hot car. I had to run back and then re-catch up with these guys who are pretty speedy hikers for not being out here in Idaho all that often. So I caught them. Here we go. Up to Goldbug with us. Pretty creek. We look pretty today too. Just like the creek. Stay cool. I'll see you at the top. It's a big hike. This is Goldbug Hot Springs behind me. One of my favorite places. One of my favorite hot springs. I finished the hike, this last section, which is brutal. But something I learned from football practice way back in ninth grade. Hey guys, that if you finish alone, you haven't really finished. So you gotta go back. Doesn't mean you have to work less hard when your team can't hike as much as you can. It means you work twice as hard to make sure they get where they're going. So we're heading back down. Finish the hike with them. Let's go. Here we are. Oh. <laughs> it's pretty nice, bro. Ah. 
Ay. What do you say? I think probably like this is maybe right at 199. Ah, oh, it's perfect. That was a good hike for sure. I was a little lightheaded at the end of that one. Really? Yeah, that felt good. What do you think though? Not bad? Dig it. Gravel bottoms, clean. Ah. Woo! Yeah. Ah. Gold bug Ospreys. It's 5 a.m. right now. We're about 5.30 a.m. Right? We're outside of Starbucks getting ready to eat. Getting some Dots pretzels. Dots sponsor me. <laughs> <laughs> label <Hello>. out. <laughs> First rule of commercials, label out. <laughs> El Leto's the only one of us that's really slept so far. <laughs> we woke up. We woke up at 3 a.m. Unable to sleep. Worried that Ella was dying as well because oh <laughs> she yesterday morning she had like a mini like stroke. Is what it looks like <laughs> in the back of the car. I'm gonna go try to get like two hours worth of work in. I love that the, the little line is already forming at the Starbucks. Can like you believe it? <laughs> That's crazy. You know we're gonna go get some work done hopefully, and then after that, lava hot springs. Make sure you gotta get with the 40 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right here, 40 degrees. Eric is from Texas and in the cold pool right now. This is Lava Hot Springs in Pocatello. Eric's being a legend. One of my favorite, favorite hot springs. Check it out how beautiful it is. I was about to come downstairs as well, so we'll all hop in and this will be the last hot spring for this trip until we head back to Boise. I was like, yo, take your time. <laughs> <laughs> you got all day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Let's go. We're getting ready to leave, and while everyone else took their time to sit in the the hot pool, Eric is still in the cold pool. After like, what? You've probably been here about like 15 minutes total, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, I've probably been here about three minutes this time. Okay. He's a superpower. Dude, Aquaman. <laughs> we're all very tired, but we're heading back. I'll see you at the Airbnb. Let's go. Ella, Eric, and I have been out in the forest for a few days now, long having said goodbye to Nico and going out to really share the wonders of the road. And it has me thinking about what the basis for close connection is. I think it's shared experience. If you look at old war veteran buddies, to people stranded in the wilderness together, to business partners, close relationships are built off a mutual understanding of what each other has been through. Now that I find myself in the wilderness with Eric and Ella, who are some of the few people that have a truly shared experience throughout the all of life with me, whether from writing to work to dinner parties to business events to finally being out here on the road with me and experiencing the hot springs, these people understand me and that's a rare thing to find. We're, we've gone far beyond just liking each other now. And what we now have is an adventurous pact sealed with the shared experience of cold nights, hot springs, and drives through mountain roads. I might have lied a little bit. I thought we were going back to the Airbnb, but I have this thing that happens every once in a while when I'm hanging out with cool people doing cool things that I just forget to turn on the camera. That's exactly what happened at the end of this video. <laughs> so I already dropped Eric and Ella off at the airport. We had a great time together, but I wanted to finish up this video by saying first, thank you for watching. I'm happy you're here. Second, I wanted to invite you to come on the next Adventure Crew Expedition where I'm going to Alaska with a few Adventure Crew subscribers. Uh, to fish the fall salmon road, one of my all-time dream vacations ever. Now, it's on August 3rd through 8th, so you may 
or may not be able to join depending on what time you're watching this video. But as of now, we have two spots left. So if you're interested in coming on more adventure crew expeditions, whether it be to Alaska, or one of the many more that I have planning coming up next, like Iceland, South America. I really want to do New Zealand. That's a hard one to do, but I really want to do that one. If you're interested in any of those adventures, hanging out with me and the Adventure Crew subscribers, then click the link, the Google Doc link in the description of this YouTube video. Check out all the details and book a call so you can talk with me and we'll see if you're a good fit to join us on one of the next Adventure Crew expeditions. Stay wild, be free. Thank you for watching. Now get outside. <laughs> it's nice out here. Peace.